Welcome Ragnarians. My name is Dave. And I'm Jen. And what you're about to watch is Oscar worthy. Whether you've run a Ragnar before or this is your first time, get ready, because we're talking all things safety. Curious about what the heck it is you even signed up for? What on earth is a Ragnar Road? Well, we have another video for that, and the reality is, pretty soon you're gonna find out what this is all about. First things first, you're gonna wanna grab that phone and download the Ragnar app, the correct Ragnar app. Before we dive into exactly what Ragnar safety rules are, let's be clear that any violation of these leads to a strike. Three strikes, and you're out. As in, out of the race, disqualified, can no longer participate. If you follow all the rules in this video, you should, should have a home run race from start to finish. Before you even get behind the wheel or start running, let's talk about that beautiful van of yours. Each van receives two stickers with your team number on them. One is for the front window of your vehicle and the other is for the back window. We welcome additional decorations and actually encourage them as long as they do not obstruct your view and do not contain anything vulgar, offensive, or just downright inappropriate. Like a wild salmon swimming upstream, you should run against traffic. Here in America, this would mean the left side of the road. When a sidewalk is available, please utilize it. If you see cones, it's not a challenge to weave in and out of them as fast as you can. When cones are visible, run on the shoulder side of the cones, you know, furthest away from traffic. A good way to stay on the correct side of the road at our event is by following the touch and go rule. This means you run to the next directional sign you can see, touch it, not literally, but close enough so that you could, and follow the direction indicated. Obey pedestrian laws and try to make eye contact with drivers when you are crossing intersections. Drivers often only look one way when they are entering an intersection. On approved support sections of the course, teammates in the van must use these orange flags when crossing the road to support active runners. Always. Always wait until traffic is clear and it is safe to walk. This isn't meant to impede traffic. More so, give a warning in advance for people to slow down. Keep your flag clearly visible, and if the road is three lanes or wider, a crosswalk should be used. In the case that you become unwell or start feeling sick, it's best that you stay on the course. This will make it easier for your team or Ragnar staff to find you. Headphones are welcome at our events, but ideally they should be bone conduction headphones. This style allows you to hear your music and what's going on around you. If you don't have these, we recommend only using one earbud and keeping the volume at a level so that you can hear your own footsteps and any instructions from course staff and volunteers. When you approach an exchange, we advise that vans and runners slow down. Remember, these are often open courses and there will be non-participant vehicles there. As you get to the exchange, volunteers will guide you. Please listen to their instructions. Some legs are designated as no van support or partial no van support legs. On these legs, you cannot get out of your vehicle at any point for safety reasons. Simply drive to the next exchange point and wait for your runner. While your runner won't have access to their hype van, Ragnar does provide water on some of our longer no van support legs. Remember, we are cupless. This means runners should carry a vessel to fill up when needed. General hydration tip. Drink plenty of water and replenish your body with electrolytes. Alcohol consumption is strictly prohibited during the race, and anyone who violates this will receive an automatic DQ. No, not a treat from Dairy Queen. DQ as in disqualified. Leapfrog is one of my personal favorite childhood games, and we encourage you to do this to your runners if they need you. What we mean by this is pass your runner and move ahead a mile or two to a safe and legal spot to pull over and assist your runner there. When you are done assisting your runner, please move on to the next legally safe spot to pull over. Do not shadow your runner. Shadowing is exactly what you think it is. It's that creep speed following the runner at the same pace. This is not allowed and quite frankly, it's super dangerous to the flow of traffic. 
Let's say you lose a runner. Have no idea what happened. Where they went. And you can't get in touch with them. Yikes. Here's what you do. Drop two people off at the next exchange. You know, the one your lost runner was supposed to show up at. These two people should preferably be your next runner and someone with a cell phone. Your teammates in the van should then double back to search for the missing runner. If you cannot locate your runner, text Race Command and we will help you find them. How exactly do you contact Race Command? Via text. This is a text only number and is located in the app and is specific to your race. If you see someone else violating any of these safety rules, Please shoot us a text. If you have a true emergency, please contact 911 first and then relay any information you have to Race Command so that we are aware. In case you didn't know, this event runs through the night. That means night running. And that means lights. All the lights. Like a rave light show. You should look like the brightest, happiest highlighter prancing down the street. Kidding. Kind of. During the Ragnar-defined nighttime hours, everyone must wear a reflective vest when outside of the van. If you are the active runner, you need that as well as a headlamp and a taillight. You can purchase all of these items as a bundle in our gear store either online prior to the event or at the event at our on-site gear store. If you're feeling sleepy and would like to snooze, you may do so only in designated sleeping areas at major exchanges. Do not sleep in parking lots next to your van. Speaking of nighttime, remember, we are visitors in a host community. There are quiet zones designated for each race. In these zones, please don't honk your horn, yell, blast music, shake your cowbells, or do anything you wouldn't want to hear late at night as you try to count sheep. Please respect the quiet zones so that we can respect the locals and we can continue to come back year after year. So you're afraid of the dark. Or maybe you just have other reasons to not run your leg at night. That's perfectly fine. This is Ragnar and we won't judge you, which is why we allow a buddy pass. They can pace along with the runner at any time along the course without penalty. This works for the daytime or nighttime. Now back to the van. Every van has a safety officer. Who is this? Where do they come from? It's called Shotgun. Your safety officer is by default whoever sits in the front passenger seat. Whoever is in that seat has one job and one job only when sitting up on this throne. Help the driver navigate and keep the driver awake. Maybe this makes you DJ or a one-man band acapella group. Do whatever you must and be an extra pair of eyes to keep your pilot alert. It's hot, it's humid, the sun's a-blazing. These types of conditions are exceptionally taxing on the body. And I'm talking about places where the sweat don't shine. In these conditions, don't push yourself too hard and keep an eye out for runners around you. At the end of the day, we've got to have each other's sweaty backs. On a day like today, it's essential to hydrate before and after your run. Electrolyte replacement is just as important as hydration. With that, we recommend mixing electrolytes with your water or drinking a sports drink to get you the maximum hydration you need during your run. Pro tip, don't try anything new the day of the event. Whatever you use to train. Hope you train. Whatever you use to train, that's what you should be using the day of the race. If the sun is beating down, a great way to cool off is a mini version of the ice bucket challenge. Keeping your core body temperature as low as possible while running is extremely vital. A little cold water on your head and neck goes a lot further than you think. Knowing there is a high probability of hot temps at your upcoming race, our staff is continually monitoring the weather as we approach the event. If it exceeds our threshold, we will pause the race and pass out heat hold cards and share instructions with you about where and when you'll start running again once it is safe to do so. Did you get all that? Sure hope you did. In all seriousness, download the app and check out that race command number. As always, if you have any questions, drop us a line. Your safety at our events is our number one priority. But don't forget to have fun. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon.